What's up, y'all? Thank you for coming back for another random thought. Not so random. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm not sure what I'm about to get into today. Um, we're getting off to an early start for our day. It's about, I don't know, not 10, but after 9.30 a.m. Um, about to ride around the block, try to get some exercise in. Uh, waiting on my daughter to come out here. And hopefully I can find a spot and just talk to you guys. Because I'm telling y'all, I have a lot of stuff on my mind. And I'm hoping that the Holy Spirit will give me what to say so that I can really, really, like, talk to you guys and gals out there. Um, anyways, thank y'all for uh, sticking with me. Like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you in a little bit. I'm waiting on my daughter to come out here. So, yeah. We'll see what's going to happen. We might go to the church. All right, y'all. Bear with us. We'll be back. I found, well, there's tables here, but we have a guest with us, so I don't want to disturb him. So we're going to go probably go up to the church to do the rest of this video. So bear with us. I needed a break, y'all. I'm out of shape. <laughs> and we'll be right back. All right. Okay, y'all. We're back home. We had to make a little pit stop because my baby needs to get her thing for her lesson. Cause we're gonna be out there for a minute. So I wanna kinda get more than one thing done. So yeah, y'all just um, y'all just down for the ride. Come on, baby. Go on in there and get your uh, stuff. One of the things that's on my heart, really heavy, is the I have the information of the kingdom, y'all. I have the information of the kingdom, and if I don't know if you're like me and you were born in America, in North America, in the United States, when you hear information about kingdom and kingdom mindsets. We don't really, we're not accustomed to that because we live in a democracy. So our brain is not wired to even understand kingdom mindset. But y'all gotta understand, Jesus, Yahusha, the Messiah, when he came, he preached that his kingdom was at hand and for all to repent. That's the message, y'all. That's the message that we should be uh, preaching, that we should be proclaiming and yelling on the rooftops, is that his kingdom is at hand. And we got to repent. You feel me? Because, yeah, that's been on my heart really, really heavy, y'all. But, yeah, so we're about to find a spot. Like, we're probably going to go up there to the church. So, yeah, y'all stay tuned. We'll be... We made it, 
right, y'all. So, uh, baby is trying to get settled. And <laughs> you didn't like me calling you baby. You know you my <laughs> baby. I see that look. <laughs> you know you my baby, girl. Stop playing. Hallelujah. She's getting settled. Okay, my baby girl is all settled and I just wanna talk to y'all. Father, please give me what to say. Help it to be clear that even a baby can understand what I say, Lord God. I pray for every video, I mean every viewer that would touch this video and watch this video. I just wanna encourage somebody today and just be a light, Lord God. In your name I pray and ask these things and Father, I give thanks, amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so basically, I guess what I'm really wanting to talk about is the gospel, the good news. You'll find when you read the gospels, uh, when Jesus began to preach, he, the gospel, when he began to preach the gospel, he would say, the kingdom, repent, the kingdom is at hand. So there's something to that, y'all. Yes? I need help. You need help? Yeah. Um, it says determine it says determine the change from five dollars for each amount. Yeah. I don't how am I gonna determine the change from five dollars if it's not five dollars? You start with five and you have to pay two fifty. So you have five dollars and they have to pay two dollars and fifty cents. How much change do they get back? You remember those kind of problems, right? Oh yeah, they get three dollars and fifty cents. Nope. Three dollars. Nope. Go go subtract it. Hallelujah. <laughs> but uh so yeah. There's something to that guys. Why do when we preach the good news, they talk about Jesus, how Jesus died and he rose. Although that knowledge plays an important part of the believer's life, it is not the good news. Because Jesus preached the gospel throughout his whole ministry. He preached the message of the kingdom throughout his whole ministry. And he only told his disciples about him dying and coming back to life. And even when he told them, they did not understand. So let me, if you don't know this, let me be the first to tell you, the gospel has nothing to do with Jesus dying for you, okay? The good news is the good news that the message of the kingdom. Now you have to study your Bible to really understand what I am saying. The good news is that the kingdom of God that he promised to us is here and we have an entry into his kingdom, but only by belief in the one he sent to die for you. Do you understand? His death and resurrection plays a small part to the actual good news. And why is it good news? It's good news because if you read the Old Testament, it talks about how God made promises to specific people. He promised Noah something. He promised Abraham something. He promised Isaac something. He promised Jacob something. He promised David something. If you go and you read the Old Testament, you follow the line, you'll see that God made promises. And the promise that he made to King David was, hey, you're gonna die one day, but somebody is gonna come out of your line and they're going to establish your kingdom forever. So this was a promise from Almighty God, the Creator, the one who created, the one who put the waters up there, y'all. Y'all see the waters? That's water up there. The one who put the waters up there and holds the water back. He made a promise to his people saying, I am going to bring a kingdom and it will be established forever. So the good news is that this kingdom that the Creator promised is here. 
and you have an entryway into that kingdom and you will be able to live forever in his kingdom. That's the good news because whether you wanna admit it or not, you are going to expend, you are going to spend an eternity somewhere forever. You are gonna live for an eternity forever somewhere, whether it is in the presence of the creator. Good morning, how are you doing? Whether it's in the presence of the creator and you're gonna live forever, or you're gonna live in the presence of his wrath forever. This is a reality and we have to, we have to come to our senses and realize the truth. And there's only one way. Jesus said he is the way. And we have to submit to him. We have to give our lives to him. People are saying that salvation is free. It isn't free, guys. It's gonna cost us our lives. We have to give our life to the Messiah. It's going to cost us everything to follow the Messiah. Jesus said to take up your cross and follow him. He said you're going to have to leave behind family. You're going to have to leave behind mother, daddy, sister, brother, friends, houses, land. You're going to have to give it up for him. Everything. But he said in this life you will gain so much more. Please understand, the good news is that the work that Jesus did, the Messiah did, was to grant you an entryway into the everlasting kingdom. This is the good news. And you must believe that he died and rose for you. If you can't believe that he died and rose, then that means that you don't believe in the power of resurrection. That's what the apostles preached. They preached the resurrection of Jesus Christ because they knew and understand that he spoke of a great and awesome and terrible day, that he would resurrect all. You are going to be resurrected one day because let me tell you, this flesh is not gonna last forever. We are all going to die. And we're going to have to give an account and stand before the judge who is Jesus Christ, Yahuwah, Hamashiach, the Messiah. We're going to have to be judged on the day of resurrection. And Jesus himself said, I think it was John chapter 5. He said, some will rise to eternal life and others will rise to eternal damnation. Look. The good news is that you don't have to live forever in condemnation. You don't have to live forever in damnation. You can live forever with the Messiah, with the King of all kings in his kingdom. This is the good news. But yeah, y'all, this stuff has been on my heart heavy lately. It's been on my heart heavy, heavy, heavy lately because we gotta wake up, y'all. The wrath of God is imminent, it is coming. And it is not appointed for you. His wrath is not appointed for you. If you can hear anything that I am saying and it bears witness with your heart, his wrath is not appointed for you. But I'm gonna tell you right now, you will be consumed in the wrath of God if you do not get it right, if you do not seek him with your whole heart so that you can live. The scripture says, seek me and live. That's what Almighty God said. He said, seek me and live. When's the last time you prayed? When's the last time you got into your word and read your Bible? When is the last time that you called out to the king of all kings? When is the last time that he heard your voice? He wants to hear from you today. Don't go another minute without knowing what is your purpose. Why are you here? The creator put breath into your lungs for a reason. He put the breath of life into your mortal body for a reason. It's not an accident that you are a, a human body walking around on this earth. There is a reason for that. And if you don't know your purpose, it's because you do not have a relationship with the creator, the one who created you. And that's what time it is, y'all. It's time for us to wake up and understand what the will of the creator is. We must know what it is because his wrath is coming and his wrath is not appointed for you. And the way that you get out of Dodge is by getting under the shadow of his wing, of almighty, of almighty God. You have to come under his protection. And the only way is through Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, the Messiah. He is the only way. 
But yeah, I just want to encourage y'all today. It's a great day. It's a beautiful day. It's so nice out here today, y'all. The Lord is good. I hope somebody is encouraged by tapping on this video and watching this video. But yeah, if you think somebody needs to hear this message, please share it to somebody today. Just to be an encouragement. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for rocking with us. And I'm going to try to help my daughter with her work right now. And hopefully we can get some more, probably like another mile or so of bike riding in. And uh, we'll see y'all on the next one. I love y'all. Be blessed. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>